So, yeah, box art review is number 22. How you doing, guys? You ready for some box art? I don't know. We have six of them this time. Are you sure you're ready? You know what? If you're still ready, let's get straight into it without an intro. Yeah? Okay. Let's get on to our first one, which is Gravity Rush or Gravity Days in Japan. And this game is probably one of the only reasons everybody should own a Vita from what I've heard. This game I heard is absolutely fantastic, but I'll get to that when I actually review it next week. But I gotta admit, this box art is actually really nice too. I mean, it uses green a lot and it looks really nice. And also the art design for everything on the uh, actual cover art uh, is very well done too. Like the backgrounds are very detailed, even though uh, you can barely see them, especially on a PS Vita case because they're so small. It doesn't even matter what the box art really is. Um, we got some stuff in the sky that's floating around. I guess that means there'll be a lot of things that will be actually flying in the sky besides you because of course you can manipulate gravity. Um, you see the main character, I forgot her name, but she's all standing on the side of a building. She's all like, I'm a badass. You got a cat behind her. He's like, yo, meow. And uh, it looks like a, it's a very nice boxer. The art design looks really nice. Um, I would definitely recommend maybe uh, looking at a picture of this on Amazon and getting real close to it because it actually looks really damn nice with the art design. So overall, I'm actually going to give this box art. <clears throat> Ooh, I almost lost my voice there. <laughs> I'm going to give this box art. I'm going to give it. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. So let's go on to our next box art, which is Gungeon, Gun, Gun, Gunganeer, 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 maybe it's Gunganeer, I'm going to call it that, uh, for the PSP, which is weird because, uh, PSP games should be extinct by now, but they're not, sad face, um, so anyway, Gunganeer, it's very obvious Japanese, every character on this case looks like a woman i mean no, i'm sorry not a woman a girl it looks like a 12 year old girl except maybe that guy on the right he looks like maybe he's 16 year old girl uh i'll give him that maybe maybe a 17 year old woman i don't know uh but eh i mean the colors are nice it's a very nice uh color style uh there's a lot of stuff to look at um it's all very nice to look at too uh some cool little backgrounds especially with the top character where the cape actually morphs into the background it looks like it's a really cool uh nice vibrant case if you're into the japanese style games if you like that japanese design for characters then you'll ca you'll like this box art but me it's not for me i'm gonna give it a five out of ten only because the colors are very nice and uh it's psp and i feel bad for psp so <laughs> anyway there you go let's go on to our next box art which is dirt showdown yeah that's right dirt's back and this time it goes really arcadey with a arcadey style destroy everything arena type game and i gotta admit this box art is really red it is very very red and very typical in a way because first of all the, the logo of the game takes up almost half the freaking box art and everything else is unimpressive i mean you have cars that look like they're probably straight from the models of the car in the video game and they look nice um i love how even the car in the front has a logo for dirt showdown on it just in case you forgot that it's called dirt showdown from the top freaking logo um you got some crashes going on in the background you got some monster energy they have to throw in that freaking ad even for the box art um like i'm gonna look at this box art i'm like oh i need to, i need some monster energy drink i i'm too tired i can't continue playing dirt showdown but no it doesn't make me want it you failed um it's a very generic racing box art you got some racing you got some well-designed cars and you got a lot of red so you know what i'm just gonna give it straight up a 5.5 only because the cars are well designed so there you go let's go on to our next box art which is Huh, Metal Gear. Metal Gear Solid HD collection for your PS Vita. You get Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 all together in one cartridge. Oh, God, I just started sounding like a wrestler there. Like, oh, yeah, brother, you're going to buy the PS Vita. I'm going to give you a spine buster. Now let's actually talk about the box art. And I have to admit this box art is very, very displeasing i mean all it is is you have metal gear solid 2 so you have raiden and you have metal gear solid 3 which is snake uh, uh solid no no liquid snake and they're both pretty damn generic i mean all it is is their heads staring at you going like yeah you're gonna buy this game if you're a big metal gear solid fan you go buy this game again i don't care huh konami owns your soul you will buy this game so yeah, I mean, the characters' heads are very well designed, but it's a lackluster case. I'm just going to give a 4.5 out of 10. Let's go on to our next one, which is... 
<laughs> Nickelodeon's iCarly Groovy Foodie with an exclamation point. Groovy Foodie. And I don't know what's so groovy about a donut, a hamburger, a pizza, an ice cream cone, a milkshake, a taco with spaghetti in it, um, an apple pie, a whole pizza this time, and a uh, and two donuts with a shish kebab in it. But uh, I don't know. Maybe it is groovy. I haven't played the game. But uh, it's a horrible box art. It is. I mean, <laughs> all the food in the background looks like it's like you can make it straight out of photoshop or something not even photoshop like microsoft paint and you have the two dumb bimbos in the foreground just going like yeah that's right we got food bitches and i'm like i don't i don't want your food you probably poisoned it or turned it into fucking nickelodeon slime or something i don't want that and it just it, this box art's terrible you know I, why am i even talking about it it's a two out of ten let's go on to the next box art which is Lollipop Chainsaw, probably the biggest release of this week, and our last box art for today. And who boy, I can't wait for this game because I love women, cheerleaders, James Gunn, who writes and directs this, look him up. Uh, and I love Suda51, and I also love women. So, you know what? When I heard Suda51's doing this, written by James Gunn, I could not wait. So, you know what? I'm going to talk about this box art. I'm going to say right here. It's really damn good. I mean, it, it tells you what it needs to tell you. I mean, it has a decapitated head. It has a cheerleader. She has a lollipop. She also has a chainsaw. And there's a zombie in the background in a locker. So it tells you everything there. It has zombies. It has a high school premise. It has a cheerleader with a chainsaw and a lollipop and a decapitated head attached to her belt. So they oh, I'm sorry, her skirt. So that's all you need and it's very well designed it's very colorful looking uh the designs are really nice i like how she's giving you that i'm gonna fucking kill you stare and i'm like yeah kill the fuck out of me so anyway i gotta admit this box art's really nice um for what it's trying to you know suggest and it's suggesting a lot and it's making my pants tight so anyway <laughs> Lollipop Chainsaw, I'm going to give this box art an 8 out of 10. I really enjoy this box art, and I can't wait for the game. And that was box art reviews number 22. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you didn't, then whatever. <laughs> Dislike the video, or, or like it, just because you're an asshole. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> there you go. Thank you for watching, or listening, whatever. Thank you, and goodbye.